Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Rocket Monday. In today's episode, we're gonna take a closer look at Arc Steam Rocket. So let's dive right into it. Now, before we understand steam rocket, we must understand water rockets. Now, uh, here I have to simplify this very, uh, you know, bluntly. Water is inert. Basically, it's an exhaust byproduct. It's a burnt. Basically, same way you can't burn carbon dioxide, you can't burn water. So you're not getting basically chemical energy out of it. What you are getting is a propellant mass. Think of it this way. Let's say you are in space. How the heck your rocket engine is working? Basically, it's relying on uh, action equals reaction. So it's throwing things and getting pushed back. So that is what's happening here. Water is not doing anything magical like, you know, magically turning into rocket fuel. It's just a mass that you are throwing away. Now, it's a very simple in terms of physics and you can test it out with yourself. You can like literally go to any mall and find this sort of water bottle rocket. And the easiest way to understand why mass is so important, think of it this way. You pressurize this rocket, uh, you know, uh, water rocket and all that. Why don't you just pressurize with air? Because even though air could have could have more pressure, it simply does not have enough mass to push that bottle up. It's like, but you have water, it's like. So that is why mass is important. So that's what is happening. Like taking this design, pushing it to the next level. Now again, this is happening on water. Steam could give you even more power. Now how will you get steam? That's up to you. You can use chemistry. You can use nuclear reactor. You can use microwave. That's up to you. So that's how water rockets work. So let's get a, uh, you know, how does it understand the basically steam aspect of it. Now, throwing water action equals reaction. That's very simple. Now, in terms of uh, visualizing how much power we are talking about, because we are familiar with, like, you know, rocket engines, like even a tiny rocket engine makes enough sound that you're like, okay, this is some serious stuff going on. So how do you visualize what kind of power water has? Uh, Mythbuster did a very interesting video about that, like where they were lift, levitating a car using uh, water, uh, water jets and something like this. You can check that out. I have provided the video link down below. Uh, so you can understand like the physics is absolutely simplified on this. It's like nothing magical. It's just like, okay, you do it. Now, question is how the heck you're going to provide that kind of water? Like they were consuming hundreds of gallons per minute. So flat out, it's a uh, hundreds of gallon water tank. It's just not going to provide, uh, you know, power for long enough to do it. So it's like, shoo. Now, okay, you want to go to orbit or you want to go for like, let's say 10 second burn or 20 second burn. In those sort of scenario, you need something better now how do you get water better well you heat it up basically because all we are talking about is basically mass being thrown uh, and uh, you can improve the efficiency by heating it up basically making a steam rocket now this is uh, one of flat earthers who was like i want to go to space and see it out but again you do not get become to be astronaut if you are like you know flat earther so he built his own rocket now he was utilizing steam rocket but he was like pressurizing it before and then now it does work physics is absolutely true and it is better than just throwing water like if you're just throwing water okay good if you're throwing hot steam awesome now be mindful when i'm saying this sort of thing and it does work physics is absolutely true it does come with one serious consequence because you do not have enough energy to liquefy it basically because we are not talking about nuclear reactors or some sort of a ground-based uh, microwave projector you do not get a lot of specific impulse your specific impulse would be best case scenario below 150 seconds translation is just not tough uh, basically it does not have enough mileage so even if you have a lot of power a lot of thrust it's just gonna be like Phew. it's not gonna be like sustained it's like a powerful thing but it's a you know a one-time deal kind of scenario so what is art the company that is trying to do it well in simplest term, it is a very strange company. Now, uh, when you are talking about Elon Musk and people were starting, like he started the space company on a shoestring budget. Now that is true in one regard, compares to like other space agency, he was running on fumes. Now compared to every Tom, Dick and Harry else, he had hundred million dollar as a beginning point of his own money. So most of us, I am pretty sure, don't have hundred million dollar to you know, just go YOLO on it. So he does not have the luxury that like basically the art company does not have that hundred million dollar luxury. So outcome of that, they have a lot of ambition. Basically everything they do, it's like a, a attracting investor. Now again, SpaceX was doing the same thing. They were like trying to win the contract from NASA. So it's quite common. Only problem is because they do not have the starting seeding money or uh, like, you know, clear goal like uh, SpaceX had is like they try to build a hoverboard. They actually built it. It's just it was not so like you know profitable uh, unit as in like you know i'm gonna mass uh, sell it and then uh, taking the profit from that product and i'm gonna put into that then they built another drone then they did other things and before this was their main design that this kind of rocket will be single stage to orbit 
using aerojet again did not pan out like uh, now this idea is subscribed and it's turned into second stage and the first stage would be the steam rocket so they will have a steam rocket that will push it high enough fast enough that it can go from uh, basically high vantage point to space so you can understand they have a lot of ambition and the whole selling point with the uh, water rocket it's not cost effective it's uh, not uh, other things of that nature they are specifying it as a uh, basically cleaner alternative that kind of gives me pauses like why you are selling that part like whether it's clean or not like if they were saying it was cheaper i would understand that but they're never saying that it's cheaper so i'm like uh, confused because you have to understand lithium batteries are not uh, you know uh, cheap and their budget constraints is really uh, pushing them like they they are really really pushed like uh, even the fact that uh, you can check their facebook page is like yeah we bought this fluke meter and this key site meter just for calibrating and accurately measuring the temperature is like yeah that's ten thousand dollar again elon musk would not worry about ten thousand dollar he had hundred million dollar to begin with so again that hundred million did help him out a lot they do not have this luxury basically art does not have that luxury so what that uh, steam rocket and all that that is basically las 25d this whole contraption so what they are doing is basically taking water take, converting it into steam using battery to sustain it and they're gonna need a lot of battery now so what is happening here is kind of interesting now again i have provided the link to white their white paper below but what they are trying to achieve like i have not uh, specified it to like 100 percent it's like i'm a bit confused like what the heck they are trying to do it's like um, they have this tank now this is a very high pressure tank so basically inside it water would be at very high pressure around tar uh, target is around 15 bars one bar is 15 psi so kind of high pressure why basically if you have high pressure water you can heat it up to higher temperature basically uh, let's say one uh, bar normal atmospheric 100 degrees celsius you have 15 bars you can push it to 300 degrees celsius side effect your tank rather be very strong otherwise it's gonna explode like a bomb and i mean a bomb so if you make a tank strong enough then you can heat the water up to very high temperature and the moment you let it off it will turn into steam providing a lot of thrust so that i think like that's what they are doing because uh, if the mathematics on this is quite clear uh, not uh, like you know very clear cut and their white paper is not that helpful so again they're still not gonna need the battery but be mindful the water would be charged on the launch pad basically water in terms of temperature would be raised on the launch pad the batteries is only there to sustain it basically they have the initial go point otherwise battery will simply not have enough energy to do anything so this is the thing that you can see the video have a test launch of that so question does become like will it work like can it actually do what it's supposed to do because they have very large ambition with this like taking this design converting into a aerojet design uh, because this is a bell nozzle their final design has a quote unquote aerojet engine and the idea is like this will take off as a first stage launch that uh, second stage then come back land same as falcon 9 only difference is falcon 9 uh, stage one is like uh, goes to very high altitude these will not go very high altitude they are very clear on that like they are targeting only 30 seconds of before separation so they're not gonna go very far so can it work well physics on this matter is quite clear it can work now here's the deal one one thing you have to learn the moment you become an engineer this is the first thing you learn science is here like let's say oh you should get one megawatt from your generator engineering is like bruh uh, like you know enjoy like you know uh, start party if you get even 60 percent out of this that's a very hard reality of the situation it's like your physics will say oh you should get this much your inefficiency your losses and everything on current will barely allow you to get even like depending on designs or depending on other situation not very close to it now physics is like almost like let's say they need 100 physics is saying like you should get 105 but again if physics is saying that does that mean engineering can reach that high maybe maybe not because heck we have leds like long ago we used to have incandescent bulb that was like you know 10 percent efficient now we have 99 percent efficient bulbs so again not a super easy situation but uh, probability is there that they could succeed but very low probability and battery is the limiting factor now can i see a design or a future where water rocket can be made into a practical situation yeah all they have to do is just change the water tank into a microwave receiver why microwave because microwave is very easy to aim you can aim it basically you can have like a whole array of uh, flat field antennas and phase shift the uh, you know uh, the beam and then you can heat it up to like megawatts of heat and all that and then you can just yellow it so physics is not saying it can't be done it's just can they do it it's like very very narrow margin so this was my presentation on basically 
uh, you know our chat uh, i hope you liked it learn from it in that case please click the like button if you didn't like it didn't enjoy it i would urge you to press dislike press it twice to show me your disappointment and please leave a comment because i reply to all of them subscribe press the bell icon if you're free and as always thanks for watching